Would you rather eat a cardigan or a matter baby? A cardigan or a matter baby? Yeah. What do you mean? A matter baby. What's the matter? <laughs> I don't know, Shigma. What's, what's, what's the matter with you? <laughs> what's the matter for you? Well, it's been a long time. You can see why. I am assuming if this is up, I figured out how to do the timestamp thing. So just, you know. Hold on. I hope this goes without saying, but I freaking adore Harry Styles. Pun intended, completely intended. I'm not hating on anybody. I'm just trying to educate people and that's it. All right, enjoy the video. I worked really, 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 really hard on it. So hard, it's 1 a.m. First of all, I wanted to thank the girl who I watched the video of how to make the sweater on because she laid it all out. She was like, it's how you crochet and this is this pattern and what you need and all that jazz. So thank you. Thank you to Bruna Ticality. I don't know if I said that right. I don't know. But this is, this is her. And she did rectangles instead of squares. And I liked the way it pleated better. And I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna use her video. Go to her if you wanna learn how to crochet the sweater. Use me just for like supplies to get that you would need to make it ethical and or as ethical as possible because as humans it's just impossible for us to be 100% ethical. <laughs> so yeah just you know what do the best you freaking can y'all. But when I say that that doesn't mean for you to be like doing the worst and then saying I'm doing my best. Because you're not doing your best. You're doing your worst. Sorry. <sighs> wanted to say that so yeah i just wanted to say that this took me six months to make it it's like my baby my real yarn baby <laughs> that i made and that doesn't mean that it's gonna take you six months it's just i made a lot of mistakes i didn't know what i was doing okay so how do we make it ethical what a great question i asked myself the same thing the original sweater is made with wool and wool can be very cruel did not mean to rhyme but it can be very cruel over 367 million animals are exploited for wool each year with the vast majority being sheep and you're probably like well ari they have to shave the sheep or they you know it breaks down it's more natural it's better for the environment let me stop you there because i thought the same thing first of all taking anything from an animal just feels kind of weird now because it's like you're looking at the animal as an object how can you serve me kind of thing you know second of all these sheep were bred to create this much wool. Naturally, they should not have that much wool. So now they can overheat because of us. Good going humans. Also, where do these sheep go when they're no longer useful? Because they're continuously bred to be there so that they can keep having wool. But like, just like humans, our hair declines, so does sheep's hair. So when they're no longer profitable, they can be sent to slaughter. And it costs money to feed sheep continuously. So a lot of times they are sent to slaughter. Another thing is they'll do tail docking or something called mulesing, which is where they will cut the skin off of the back area near their genitals to prevent fly strike, which is you know, the flies are attracted to urine or feces, and so it can create an infection. And so they'll cut the back end with the skin and everything, no pain, medication, or anything, and it can be prevented. Like, you don't have to freaking cut off the skin of an animal. Let's move on, shall we? Another thing is you just, you don't know how people are gonna treat the sheep. You just don't freaking know. And if we have the ability to use alternatives, which there are alternatives. If we have the ability to not use animals, then why not? Let's take care of the sheep while they're here, but let's not breed them anymore. Why can't they just chill and live out their life without us expecting something in return? You know what I mean? There's a whole lot more that I'm not covering, so I'm gonna leave down below uh, an article on more reasons why you shouldn't wear wool. And um, yeah, might be like, Ari, what about used wool? I feel like that's something you could decide on. I don't feel comfortable wearing it, but you can always, maybe if you have clothes in your closet, you could always donate it to a shelter, you know, somebody who might need it, or an animal shelter as like a bed or a blanket or something. Oh, 
So we covered wool. What can I use instead of wool? Great question. There's thankfully so many freaking options. And I was looking, I was like, okay, well, I love Etsy. Why not support a small business and reuse something? Um, because I discovered in this journey of crocheting that people will go to thrift stores and take the yarn apart and then roll it back up into a ball for other people to make things. How cool is that? So people have upcycled yarn on there. What the heck? Really cool. So my green yarn that I bought is upcycled. I got it from an Etsy store. The only thing that I I also learned with the green yarn I got, it's a sport um, thickness or whatever. So it's thinner than like a, a puffier yarn. Is that making sense? I don't know. I'm not a professional. Don't look at me. So an option is upcycled yarn from Etsy or Facebook Marketplace. Sometimes people have loads of yarn that they're getting rid of. It's close to you. You might not have to pay for shipping. You could also do 100% organic cotton yarn. You could also do something called pencil lyocell. I don't know if I said that right. It's sustainably harvested wood pulp. Am <laughs> I saying that correctly? I didn't get some, but I do want to crochet with it because ah, so freaking cool. Also hemp yarn. It's a little bit more rough, but still freaking cool. Hemp yarn. I was looking also into bamboo yarn, but I'm so sad because I guess the process for bamboo yarn isn't the most sustainable. The way they have to process the bamboo to make it into yarn. I don't know, but We've got so many options already. So, so where I got my yarn, I got the green one from Etsy. I'll put everything down below. And then my main yarn supplier, <laughs> my main yarn supplier was funnily enough, wool in the gang. And you're probably like, well, are you just gave us this whole spiel about wool? Yeah, I did. But they also have vegan yarn on there and they do practice sustainability as much as possible. However, I don't like the premise of ethical wool, if that makes sense. Because it's great, they do get wool that's from non-mulesing farmers, but still, like I said, you know what, we just wanna be done. We don't wanna breed those animals anymore. And then where do they go when they no longer produce wool, you know? So even though they have wool options, please, if you do buy from them, don't get the wool options. They have Lyocell on there, the tinsel one. So cool. They also have 100% organic cotton, which I got, and they have hemp yarn, which I also got. If I have the option, there is this website. It was more expensive, so I couldn't do it, but veganyarn.com, freaking cool. So if you do have the budget to get from there, please do it, check it out. And surprisingly, Michaels I got from, they have an eco-conscious yarn, I think that's what it's called, and it's made from recycled plastic bottles. I don't know. I needed some yarn on the fly because I didn't order enough, which you'll find out in the mistakes I made that you shouldn't make. But the only thing with this recycled, what's it called, yarn, it kind of pulls away a little bit. It sheds and it also picks up on all the dog and cat hair. I mean, the other ones do too, but this one specifically is like... <sighs> So keep that in mind. I would recommend sticking with the wool in the gang yarn if you're able to, or the upcycled yarn if you're able to. So that's the yarn. Next are the needles, the crochet needles. Whoa, eco-friendly crochet needles. Yeah, I, I was a baby crocheter back in my day, so I needed some needles. Uh, frick yeah. So I went to Etsy and I found these amazing wooden needles, crochet needles, and a sewing needle. And freaking great, they've been great. I almost broke one, it got a little crack in it because I think I sat on it. Sorry. The reason why I got the wooden ones is because I didn't want to get plastic ones and I just wanted to support a small business. I love Etsy. Metal ones I think are okay too. I wouldn't do like aluminum or anything that's painted really. Just try and keep it as natural as possible. I made a mistake and ordered, this just happens to me a lot and I need it. I'm, I'm working on it. I ordered my sewing needle. I didn't realize, I think it was from Scotland. I did not mean to order it from there. But I love it. Thank you to the person who made it and shipped it to me. I just took it as a sign from the universe, like maybe I am supposed to go to Scotland. That's another thing that I've been thinking about. Like, that's just a whole other video. So yeah, again, everything's down below. So I didn't talk about buttons, I'm so sorry. If you're like me, you're probably like, how in the hell are buttons? 
Like how do you make that sustainable? Normally they're made out of plastic. Again, we want to stay away from that because it doesn't biodegrade. So there are these buttons made out of corozo. I know I'm not saying that right, but it's made out of corozo seeds from a tagua tree. I'm also not saying that right. The great thing though is that they only fall from the tree when they're ripe, so no trees are being cut down. And also it biodegrades, unlike plastic. Really great option. I got mine from Etsy. I'm so upset because the seller had red and yellow and I'm kind of upset that I didn't get the red buttons. They're really, really cool. And they also have coconut shell buttons. How cool. <laughs> On Etsy. So there's options other than plastic. Um, and I feel like they all look really, really cool. So, um, yeah. All right, let's move on. Two mistakes I made. Mmm, so many. Six months worth. If you are getting upcycled yarn and this is your first crochet project, make sure it's not sport yarn. Like, like I did, because I got the green yarn. It was upcycled from Etsy, but it's sports. It's like thinner. And learning to crochet with that as my first one was really tricky. <laughs> it was really tricky. It was tricky. I eventually figured it out. Also, if you're doing the hemp yarn like I did, save that one last because that was also tricky to learn to crochet with because it doesn't have as much stretch as the cotton does. Another thing, make sure you have enough yarn. So I'm going to lay it out for you guys. If you are ordering the same things that I'm ordering, this is what you're going to do. You're going to do two of each yarn except for the red one the red one you are gonna need more the red one you're gonna need four balls if you're doing the hemp yarn because it's a thinner strand and you also have to use it for the lining and the black and red one and the red one and so yeah so you're gonna need more of it another thing the black the black one i might have needed three four no i used the eco conscious yarn and it's thicker so i think i only needed two but if you're doing yarn from warm again I would, if you're getting a thinner yarn, just from anywhere, whether it's Wool in the Gang or Etsy, if you're doing a thinner yarn, then maybe do three just in case, because you have to make the squares and the red and black squares. Make sure you order it all so you're not waiting on it if you're able to, because I started crocheting, then I was like, oh uh, shoot, I need more yarn. And like I said, I ordered a needle and it was from the UK, so it was a long transportation time. And just make sure you're, you're ordering near you if you're able to, so then it cuts back on pollution and the waiting time for you. It's just better all around if you're able to, but um, I'm gonna put his thing down below still because maybe somebody's from Scotland who's watching this. How do you like Scotland? Should I move there? Let me know. Okay. Another mistake, which I actually ended up liking, was I was going to use this light blue like she did for the lining, and I had this violet color that I got from Wool in the Gang. It's, the co it's like 100% cotton, organic. I, I actually like the way it turned out. It's kind of similar to his dark blue, but it's more purpley. Another mistake, probably a humongous mistake, but I actually like how it turned out, was the sleeves. I made the sleeves longer than they were supposed to. One of the sleeves, I did it the way she had it. It was like three rows out, I think. So it's shorter lengthwise. And so I did one right. And then the next one, I don't know what I was thinking. I folded it like long way so it was even longer past my hand. I'm like, oh man, these why, why is one longer than the other? <laughs> Instead of making the longer one shorter like the other one, which probably would have been less work, uh, I made the shorter one longer like the other one so I unsewed it and I folded it the long way and sewed it But I kind of like the long sleeves. I know some people might not but I kind of like it because kind of scrunch it up. I don't know. I, I liked it. It was a mistake, but a good mistake. If you're doing the rectangles, make sure that they line up because there's like lines of, because the pattern's kind of like a wave. Make sure like the bumps line up with each one and that you have enough so it matches each one, if that makes sense. Like you don't want one longer than another one. However, I have a lot of squares that were shorter than others and it turned out okay. Like it's a little wonky, but it turned out okay. Don't stress too much. You can stretch it when you sew it and it'll look fine. A little wonky, but fine. But that's kind of like the vibe of the sweater. Handmade kind of vibe. Also, I don't know how these people are making perfect squares. How in the heck? How in the heck? It's 
really tricky, but it works. It's okay. I think that's it on the mistakes I made, at least the ones that I can remember. I, I just, I know I probably am missing some, but it's okay. If you have any questions, please leave them below because I will try and answer as best as I can. And if you have any more recommendations on how to make this more ethical, please comment it down below so other people can see it. And then I can know for next time for whenever I make a whatever, a scarf. I was supposed to finish my last square, but I fell asleep. Mm. Oh my god. The irony, I didn't even... <laughs> you know when you... What? My brain is like... I'm gonna get my butt up so I can finish. It's 10. It's 10 p.m. <laughs> So this is a screenshot of the amazing Bruna Ticality's rectangles and the amount you need, and then mine! And they're not as pretty, but, you know. Oh my freaking god, have you ever seen something so beautiful? Look at the black is thicker so it looks super tall, but like, oh, I'm so excited, Princey! Alright, a few notes, the orange and the yellows have different colors. The orange, I ran out. This is the plastic one from Michaels, and then this is the cotton one from Wool and the Gang. The yellows are actually both from Wool and the Gang, they're just different colors. This is the hemp yarn, this is the plastic and the hemp yarn, this is the plastic yarn, and this is recycled yarn from Etsy. Oh my god, okay. Ayo, those are the front panels before they're sewn. Shit's Creek right there, belly. <laughs> and now they are sewn, magic. And then this is the back panel before it's sewn. And then this is it, also before it's sewn. And then this is it sewn. Amazing, belly. Uh, okay, so I've got my back panel and my two front panels and I'm about to work on the sleeves. But I just wanted to say, I switched this one and this one because I made a mistake and it was going to line up like there was going to be a yellow on a yellow somewhere and a green on a green or whatever. I don't know. So I switched the two front panels so it's not exactly the same. Here it is laid out and then I'm about to add the sleeves before I've sewn them. And then this is going to be them sewn. Or wait, that's Huey actually. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> More cats. This is where I sew the, sew the sleeves and where I mess up. You can see it's really long, right? I also am tucking those in at the end after I've sewn everything. This is me when I am found out that I did it wrong. Sad girl hours. Boom, re-sewed that because I messed up, so now that one's long too. Tucking it in. Okay, it's getting crazy now. That's the lining for the sleeves sewn together. And now on the sleeves, boom! Oh my god. Wait, Ari, that's, those aren't pants. Those are the sleeves. Yeah, you knew that. Watch out. Amazing. Oh my god. So excited. This was such a fun moment. I just rubbed my nose. That's why it sounded funny. YMCA. Woo! Yeah, girl. Watch out. Cornell. Another cat. Can you guess how many we have? Very much. Um, this is me sewing and attaching the sleeves to the vest sweater thing. Sewing. It's now an actual sweater. That's really crazy. That was a crazy moment because, wow. I have to flip the sleeves like that because it's really heavy and then it falls off the thing. There's Huey, again. That's where all the cat hair comes from. Boom, fruit roll up, but it's actually the lining for the bottom. There's me sewing. I watched a lot of Jane the Virgin during this. <laughs> um, yeah, look at that. And now it's the panel. That's the violet, it looks kind of blue. Now there's the collar. The collar's kind of funky, but you know. Button time, oh my god, button time. Crazy, look at all that, fun. Funky fresh, sewing the last button and then you're gonna see me realize, oh my god, I'm done. I'm done. It's <laughs> really hard, that's what she <laughs> she said <laughs> okay let's try to do some core line eyes it's not working so i'm done now but i have a question for you what do i do with this pile of extra yarn i'm saving it till i know what to do but i need help if anybody has any recommendations all right thank you oh man i can't believe i'm actually 
I'm here right now. Just open your eyes. Just open your eyes. <laughs> it's done, done. Whoa. Honestly, it's kind of ugly, but like in a cute, ugly way. You know what I mean? Oh my god, it's done. I don't care that it's not the prettiest sweater. It's my first sweater I ever made, and it's done, done. I like that the sleeves are long. I didn't mean for that to happen, but... <laughs> Here we are. It's a sweater. It's an actual sweater. Sure, there's things I want to change about it, but I, oh my God, don't cry. Don't do it. It's okay. Oh, I'm <laughs> so freaking cool. It's just a sweater, I know, but like I made it. I put so much time into this, so much time. <laughs> really so much time this is like an official badge of honor one thing that does bug me about this let's just take apart <laughs> my crocheting skill uh when i laid it out i didn't realize like see how it's red and then green and red and green and red like a whole lot of red and green right here just a whole square of red and green i i wish it was more broken up the sides chilling because it's red orange but uh isekai as maddie zoe i would say isekai top button ain't cute but <laughs> glasses don't normally fit my face but here i am as a grandma hello hello oh i love it okay Buildup was exhilarating, but now I'm feeling kind of neutral. I really, I'm kind of nervous to wear this out because I feel like everybody else's looks really good and mine looks like, good job, you made something. It's not like amazing, but I'm also really in love with it and I'm okay with that. Okay with that. I want it to have pockets, so I think I might add pockets to it, but should I do it this color? Or should I do it red? I feel like the red might be overkill, you know? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Uh, maybe I could do black. Black might be good. He's going out. He's a human inside a cat. So, I switched up the outfit a little bit. I don't know what that is, but I put on the hairy shirt. I figured it was appropriate, you know? I got my, my vegan blue suede shoes on <laughs> and I'm wearing my pants that I got from the thrift store that I peed my pants in. Not in these, in the thrift store. And it's changing. Gotta bring it up every once in a while. Just have a good laugh. But they're sick pants. I love them. Give the back of the legs some, some air to breathe. I want to try this on with one other pair of pants that I got recently. This amazing brand called Purusha People. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm not being sponsored. She doesn't even know that I'm making this or anything. Um, it's woman owned. It's slow fashion. The clothing is made out of forest fiber. It's dyed using low impact dye. The um, It's vegan. The prints on it is water-based ink. It's just like the coolest looking clothes too. Like the design is amazing and it's expensive but it's worth it because when you're buying clothes that are cheap they're not really cheap it's being paid for in other ways like pollution like with wastewater or transportation or how it's made the chemicals used or the amount that's being pushed out and that's not being sold then ends up in um ends up in a landfill and it's just it's not good it's not good you think about like the little particles that get into the water not good not good so that's another thing i was worried about with this plastic yarn i don't want it to get into the wastewater so i'm trying to figure that out because it sheds and i'm i'm gonna put off washing it until i know what to do i think there is something that you can hook up to your washer that catches most of the particles so i'm gonna look into that and um if i find it here it is <laughs> yeah okay 
So I'm gonna try on the pants that I'm just freaking raving about because I love them. Look how cool, look at this color. Hopefully you can't see. They're a little sheer. The best part, well there's two great parts about them, these pants is that they're flared and that they've got, <laughs> it's just so perfect. They've got mushrooms on them and then these cute little moons. How perfect the shrooms and Harry and the sweater. The light doesn't help. I'm gonna call my friends and get their reactions and my mom's reaction. Reactions are fun, so that's that. Here we go, reactions. if you hadn't have said something. Oh, true. It just like, it, it looks like it's a part of it. Like a grandma sweater? No, it's much <laughs> shorter than a grandma sweater. Thanks, it's sure. a Harry style. Look. Turn around, let me see the back again. Oh, it's so pretty. Really, Jerome? Yes, let me remove a cat hair. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, I love yeah. it. It looks amazing on you too, Yay. those colors. Beautiful. Yeah. Thanks, Beauty. Thanks for doing oh, that. Oh, my sweet. I'm happy to do it for you. Thanks, happy. Billy. You did such a great job. Well, hey, guys. Thank you for FaceTiming me. <laughs> You're welcome. I love seeing your faces. <laughs> there they are. My beautiful friends. Okay, so I've been working on this for six months. And yes, we have. I it's my first ever thing and it's kind of ugly. She doesn't respond to most of my texts because most of the time she's sitting there at home knitting this fucking sweater. You But it's okay because. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I could roll them. Zoe's a styler. She's stylish. Well, hopefully reach a certain individual. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's based on a person, but it's anybody could relate to it, you know? Oi. Thank you guys. I'm gonna stay on FaceTime with you, but thank you for going on this. You're welcome. Yeah. I hope you I hope um Sarah Styles enjoys this. Oh too. yes! Shout out to Sarah Styles. She's actually Australian. I'm gonna turn this off, but I'm gonna talk to you guys. Oh, okay. You look like a vampire. But like in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was fun. I can't believe this is coming to an end. But after every ending, there's always a beginning. Holy hell. That was an emotional ride because, you know, this sweater is like a solid representation of the time that's passed, of the things that I've been through in the past six months, of the hard work that I've put into it. My mom, <laughs> she's so great. I'd finish a stack of rectangles. I'd be like, mom, I finished red. She's like, oh my God, let's see. <laughs> I just held up a stack. That's great. <laughs> she's like, I don't know if she's gonna be able to make this. I don't know if I can make it either, but I kept going regardless. It's really been therapeutic. I hope when you make this that you choose one of the animal friendly options. Links down below. Check out the girl's video because she is so helpful. She shows you how to do it and all the things. Be kind to animals. We can't just change our food choices anymore. We have to actually speak up for these animals. Supply and demand is not working like we thought it was. Go check out Vegan Bat Girl. She is amazing. Huh. If you watch this, good job. I hope it helped in some way. And if it didn't, thank you for watching it anyway. I don't wanna be